mara nyingi vijana ukata tamaa maishani kutokana na kasumba kuwa maisha ni magumu. Nilizuru eneo la Dagoreti jijini Nairobi kupatana na wini Odhiambo ambaye ni mwanafunzi wa kidato cha nne na Gradus Ochieng ambaye ni mzalishaji wa muziki. Na je, safari ya Gradus Ochieng ya muziki ilianzia wapi? Nilikuwa primary, nilikuwa interested na in music ndio nilianza nga kuingia kwa kwaya ya shule. So kwa secondary vile niliingia nilipata shule inafunza music as a subject. And hapo uh, ndio nili nilianza ku develop more interest in music. Chipukizi hawa licha ya kuwa wale mavu wamejituma angalau kupata mkate wao wa kila siku kwa kujihusisha na sanaa ya muziki. Wini ambaye amejitolea kuinua vipaji anadokeza hapa kwa studio ama volunteer to help my brothers and sister how to catch up with this life even though missi yule as in sijakuwa permanent but ama sijasoma hiyo kazi lakini being niko na interest ya music nilipoitwa na brother yangu tena neighbor Kevin I volunteer to come and help Gradus Ochieng na Wini Odhiambo wanapotekeleza shughuli zao za kila siku ukumbana na changamoto mbalimbali. Sani wenye wanakuja studio. Najua sasa hivi ile tumekaa hivi. Mtu akuje atakuona huyu ni mwenye kokwa wilchi. Aku atajua wewe ni producer. Maybe anaweza kuja angalie ndani akose ku ni wewe peke yako uko hapo atarudi. Hata salamu wa kunanga. Ju mostly people wana believing wenye wako kwa wheelchair wako na shida kubwa zaidi maybe huyu aongei so ama huyu ni mtoto hakuna vile nitaongea naye si ndio na wewe ndio uko hapo kwa studio so ni challenge you can end up the whole week on a kazi na hapo ndio una depend being it is a volunteer wewe demand mtu akupee fare sasa zingine pia Kevin ana hiyo fare anatoka huko Raila huko ibira so unapata nitakuwa na 20 bob ya kukuja then according to my disability nitatembea pole pole nipate kama ma trainers washafika wakaboeka wengine wakarudi juu tukizungumza na mmiliki wa Kejani Records ambaye pia ni mwanafunzi Kelvin Nyakwama alimaarufu sini ya baraka aliwapata wawili hawa na kuwapa nafasi ili kuamotisha vijana wengine Chieng na Wini wamekuwa watu helpful sana same in terms of music industry mimi mwenyewe siji production pia kuna skills Ochieng sana sana kuna skills za production na Wini pia nikasikia sauti kuna mali ngoa nasikia kiimba kwa barabara tu akipita kibai nyanya somewhere mimi nikamwambia it's like kuna talent can i introduce you somewhere so I had to pick Ochieng na Wini wakuje hapa kwa Kejani Records ju meanwhile atunanga producer na mimi ni student so naenda part time evening classes nikasema it's good uchinga kiwa hapa na wengine kiwa hapa na nisaidia kuna wale vijana wako na talent na wezi ji control kama wini sasa kuna ile experience ako na ameenda music festivals several schools competitions so nikamwambia come to the studio tusaidiane ku mentor wale watu wenye hawezi ji mentor na iwapo ungependa kuimba ni sauti gani iliyo bora kwa uimbaji kila mtu anaweza imba sione atio Yes mimi na kwanga nataka kuimba but hii sauti hiyo sauti inanipiga noma. Once uko na passion ya music kuja studio. Huyo producer wako atakusaidia sana. Ni dhahiri shairi kuwa penye nia hapakosi njia na Gradus Ochieng anatoa ushauri kwa vijana. Maisha maisha kwanza ni kujijua kwanza. Ataka mko kwa wheelchair ukiwa normal unajijua Najua unaweza fanya nini. Yes, uh, wazazi wanaweza kosa kukupeleka shule juu ya moja ama mbili pesa hakuna au na wazazi. Lakini kwako we mwenyewe kuna chenye unaweza fanya. Sasa hicho kitu chenye unaweza fanya ifanye kwa moyo wako wote na utasucceed.
Maisha yakiwa ni safari, safari ambayo ina milima na mabonde kwake Gradus Ocheng na wini Odhiambo wamedhihirisha kuwa ulemavu si kitu chochote. Nikiripotia TV47 kutoka Kejani Studios Dagoreti jina langu ni Joash Onsare.